morning welcome back to the vlog me and alex are going down to brighton for a cute little date day i'm so excited we are going down to brighton for the day alex has planned out like some stuff to do there which i'm so excited about obviously i'm taking you guys along i'm going to show you my outfit please excuse the mess but i've got on just this black long coat and some jeans black jeans and my zara bodysuit that i said i was going to wear I'm really excited. You can't really see, it's very dark outside today, which is sad, but it doesn't look as good on camera as it does in person, but maybe I can get an outfit video when we go out. I need to quickly eat my toast. You do? Because we need to leave. <laughs> Why is it bloody raining? We're on our way to get the first train down to Brighton. Got to get to London Bridge and then we're gonna change from there. But it's raining. And it's a little bit cold, but it's not too cold, is it? No, that's all right. It's not too bad. But do you know what? I'm actually feeling a little bit hungover because last night I went out with one of the girls from work um, to celebrate, obviously, me getting my new job. So I'm feeling... Do you know I don't feel that bad. I think Alex will be You're surprised. Yeah. Oops. But I don't feel too hungover this morning, so that's a win. Because I was a bit worried that I'd be hungover but actually i don't feel that bad and i've got a nice comfy outfit on so it's fine and i've got pepsi max in my bag <laughs> because if you know you know pepsi max with a hangover is the best like it just solves all of your problems <laughs> we've made it to brighton it only took us about an hour on the train but it is absolutely freezing i always forget that when you leave london it's not as warm. Like, don't you think it's cold? Well, yeah, we're by the sea, so it's windy. It's really cold. And it's really dark as well, isn't it? It's a bit gloomy. Yeah. But it's okay. We're heading over to a coffee shop that Alex has found. Have you been there before? No, but it looks good. And there's a candle shop next door, so Kels likes candles. We're going to buy a candle to remember our trip to Brighton, a little day trip. So, yeah, I'm going to go there and get a little coffee. Then and walk cake. by the beach, brunch. That's it, really. <laughs> Cute day. It's defeated me. Massive brownie. And it's vegan. I've eaten half of it already. <laughs> it's too big. I've got myself a little, little chocolate muffin and our coffees. I'm going down to the sea. Can you see it? It's in between those two booms. Can you see the sea? Can you see the sea? This is cute. Kind of little coffees. It's really nice, but... But you're cameraman. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> anyway, as I was about to say, before we Sorry. interrupted, thank you, Alex. <laughs> Those muffins and brownies were too big. Like, and they were vegan, so they were a bit, like, sticky. Yeah, I wasn't a fan. <laughs> Get me the, the non-vegan ones. Any yeah, day we'll take the non-vegan ones. Side of stoke. <laughs> Barbecue. <laughs> Guys, it looks so dark and green. Can I turn right twisted line? <laughs> it's the sea! You it's it. so dark. I feel like it's actually quite hard to film. It doesn't really give it justice, does it? It's like there's a weird haze over it. Like, look, look at the fog down there. You can't really see. Mm. Should we, go, should we go on the beach? Yeah. Flat mini jeans. They're very trendy. Pick it up. Food. Food. They've got to have food, right? Well, yeah, it's a brunch place. <laughs> Don't panic. Me and Alex have just walked for about 20 minutes to find this really cute little brunch place. We're just waiting to get a table. We're just waiting outside because there's no tables at the moment, but literally look how cute this is. Hot honey chicken waffles. <laughs> Alex knows what he wants, but yeah. as I was saying, look how cute it is. It's really, really nice. Alex is excited about the food menu. Go on then, what do we have? Apple crumble. Let's hope it's not like The Apprentice and they give us fish cakes. Fish cakes? <laughs> that was such a good episode. Frumpets. Mashed avocado. Are you getting that then? Maybe. I don't know. These are warm. Oh, pancakes. Bowery pancake. That's not nice. I might get that. Yeah. Hi. La aqua. 
La aqua. Oh, did you want some? Got cute. Yeah, I thought you were pouring <laughs> it for me. <laughs> this looks so good. Oh, happy Monday. I have got like a huge like big reset day planned for myself today because obviously where we were so busy at the weekend I didn't get a chance to like clean the flat and do all of those like Sunday -y reset -y type things so that's the plan for today and I was going to go out for a walk this morning because it's looking like really nice weather like it's sunny the air is crisp however my I've got to wait in for a couple of parcels because my new desk and my new chair are getting delivered today, which is actually really good because I'm off work because I work the weekend. So I can set it up and have it ready for when I start, even though I've still got like a month to go, but ooh, I'm so excited. Obviously I'll show you when I get it. I got them both from Danelm. I've had the desk before and then the chair is new, but it's so cute, I can't wait to show you. So when that comes, I've got to somehow get it upstairs unless the delivery man comes to bring it upstairs. I hope that he does because I'm not going to be able to carry that up the stairs. And um, it said it's coming between 9.50 and like 10.50 or something. And then I've also got a pair of knee-high boots coming from New Look, which I tried on in the store a few weeks ago and I didn't buy them. But then I've been thinking about them ever since. I ordered them and they're coming today, apparently. Although I've had no like delivery information. Like I got an email from New Look saying, the delivery is going to be delivered today. But I've not had any information from like one of the delivery companies, you know, like every or something. So I don't know if it's coming or not, but <laughs> hopefully it is. Um, so I've got to wait in for those things and then also I need to do my, my big clean and then I'm thinking about either going to the gym tonight or if I don't get time it's fine because I booked Pilates for tomorrow so fingers crossed I get time to do everything that I need to do but I really need to sort out this flat like this is priority number one is big clean because it's just feeling disgusting and gross my boots have arrived I'm gonna show you them I'm not gonna try them on but I'll show you what they look like these are the boots they're just like a flat knee high like they're really chunky at the bottom which is nice and then you've got a little detailing up the top i really like them i tried them on in the shop and i really liked them so yeah i ordered them the only thing well, i wasn't sure when i tried them on was they were a little bit baggy around the ankle but i wasn't sure if that was like maybe loads of people had tried them on or if like knee high boots they just kind of do that naturally because like, i have really skinny ankles but i thought if i just ordered them and try them on at home then I'll see if I like the fit of them but I thought these would be perfect for work you know just like chucking them on with like skirts and dresses and stuff for the next few months while it's still a bit chilly so yeah these are the first delivery of the day now I just need to wait for my desk and my chair which that, that's the order that I'm the most excited about I was just doing some hoovering in the living room and I thought I might as well make the space for my desk now and then I can hoover it while I'm doing it and then I can, when it comes I can just set it up straight away so I'm gonna put it in this space here and then obviously we've got this like little table which I think we're gonna put in the hallway although there isn't a lot of room in the hallway so I hope it doesn't like take up too much space but yeah these are like books and stuff I'll just put all of it in the hallway and then I can deal with it later but then I'm thinking I can just put my desk up straight away and I won't have to faff about with it too much so I'm gonna do that now I'm a little bit scared that it's not gonna fit in the hallway but we'll have to give it a go and see. Okay, so it fits. It looks a bit messy to be honest. Like I feel like I really need to like get some decorations or something to put on it. But it fits quite well there. The internet thing can sit on it. I've put Alex's books just underneath it just so it doesn't look so empty. And then we've got our little key pot on it. So not the best, but also not the worst. Like at least it's there, do you know what I mean? And then I'll get some like nice bits to put on that, I guess, to make it look a bit nicer. But now the space is clear for my desk. I'm just gonna hoover it and then when it comes, I can put it up. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited my desk and my chair have arrived I just went out for a really quick little walk because it was nice and sunny outside I am ready to build it so I've got the chair in this one 
and then the desk is in this one so I'm gonna just unbox them I think the desk is gonna be easier to put up because it's just fold away and it says it's already fully assembled so I literally just need to unfold it so I'm gonna get the desk up and then I'll worry about the chair in a minute but I'm gonna give it a go hopefully I can do it okay the desk is up that was easy it's a lot darker than I was expecting like the finish of the wood but I still think it looks really nice and it matches kind of matches this although it is a bit darker but it yeah I mean I like it though I think it looks really nice and I've got the little lamp next to it so when I'm working if I need a bit more light I can have a bit more easy bit is done she's so cute I love it and now I need to do the chair which I'm a bit scared about because I hope it's not too much building. I might be wishful thinking though. Okay, let's give it a go. I don't even know where to start with opening this though. Like, oh, I'm gonna take my rings off. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Here is the chair. Isn't she so gorgeous? I can't believe I got a pink one. Oh my goodness. And then I'm guessing, in, oh my goodness, okay. Here are the instructions. Oh my God. I don't know why, but this is really exciting me. Like just the fact that I'm doing this by myself. Cause like normally I would like just leave it for Alex to do, but I'm literally putting a chair together. I mean, who would have thought? As long as it doesn't fall apart when I sit on it, it feels even better to know that I've done it myself. Guys, oh my God, you're not gonna believe this. Look how cute it is. Ooh! It's literally perfect, you guys. Isn't it so cute? Look at how gorgeous my chair is, though. It's like a little shell, and then it's got gold bits on the bottom, and the desk literally fits perfectly in my laptop, my notebook. This is actually my journal, so I need to get another notebook, but it fits so perfectly in the corner as well. I'm honestly just so impressed that I built the chair by myself. Like, it was so easy as well. It wasn't even that difficult, but I just think it's perfect. Oh, my God. I'm getting so, so excited now to start my new job. Hello, happy Tuesday. Guys, I'm literally so tired. I'm just exhausted from waking up at 4.30 a.m. this morning for work and it's really wiped me out. But I did get a delivery from Women's Best today because I'm really trying to up my protein intake. And like, Women's Best is like one of my favorite supplement companies. So I thought we would just do a quick little unboxing. I ordered a pre-workout. This is my favorite pre-workout that I've ever had. I just think it's the best one. Um, and I got it in the flavor sour peach candy because I just thought it sounded incredible. Really, really amazing. Like, I feel like this is just gonna taste really nice. And then because I really wanna up my protein intake, I ordered one of their clear ways. So I've not had one of their clear ways before. I used to get like the whey protein powder, but I don't really like it. It's a bit heavy. So I thought I would try their clear way. So I used to get this from my protein. And I got this in the cherry lemonade flavour. It's got 25 grams of protein in one scoop. So I feel like that's actually quite good. I might give this a go now because I'm quite hungry and I feel like I want a snack. And then I also bought another protein shaker because mine have all disappeared. But this is a really cool one because it's got like containers that you can attach to the bottom. So that you can put like supplements in here and like other powders in here, which I thought was so cool. I'm not sure if I'll get like loads of use out of the different compartments, but I thought what a great idea. And then you've got this little cross thing that you can use to separate your tablets. I mean, this would be such a good way for me to remember to take my tablets. Like I can just put my spare ones in here. Do you know what I mean? Um, take my little vitamins and stuff. So, and then it's not like super big and bulky either. Like it's still like a easy to hold <laughs> oh, I hope it doesn't do that if I've got tablets in it because that would be a nightmare if all my tablets are falling out even if I don't use the containers I still needed another protein shaker so yeah I thought that was a cool idea that was everything that I bought but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a protein shake because I really want to try it I'm excited to try this because it smells absolutely amazing oh my god that actually tastes so good mm -hmm. 